Hello my friends, welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot, it's Georgie and in today's reading I'm going to be using the Lightseer's deck and we have another very very light-hearted, very silly little reading, don't take it seriously, if you haven't got a sense of humour tune out now. Um, we are asking whether Scientology would welcome Meghan Markle and this is all for fun. Would Scientologists so Scientology open up their arms, open up their golden doors and say, come on in, Megan. OK, that's the first question. That's the first question. So how open would Scientology be to welcoming a new member in the form of Megan Markle? Come on, light see us, Terrell. What can you see? What can you tell us? Would Scientology welcome Meghan Markle into their fold? Is it a fold? Cult? More like a cult, isn't it? Okay, let's have a little look. What have we got here? Oh, King of Wands. That's not a no, is it? King of Wands, very passionate, very passionate. That uh, Mr. Miscavige there, I don't know, but um, oh, they, they'd be quite passionate about her. I think, to be honest with you, though, Scientology is getting a bit desperate. I don't think they're, um, they've are um, they got people beating their doors down, have they, to try and get in. So let, let's have another one, because um, mm, that's looking quite positive, that one. It's, yes, quite passionate. Look at that. Yes. I mean, you can't get more of a yes than the Ace of Cups. Um, they'd be very passionate about it. They, they'd show her love, open up their doors and say, come on in. Come on in, Megan. Well, there you go. Somebody wants her. The Church of Scientology Church. The, whatever it is of Scientology, want Megan. So, brilliant. So, would Megan consider a billionaire Scientologist? Now, that's the question, isn't it? So, suppose that the only Scientologist I know, really, is... Um, Tom Cruise. So let's just hypothetically, supposing Tom Cruise said to Megan, oh God, I've loved you all these years. I really want to make you my wife. Would she say yes? Would she consider Tom Cruise as a possible husband hmm? with all that money? Billionaire Scientologist. I'm only using him for an example. I don't know of any others, but I'm sure there are lots. A billionaire Scientologist. Let's just use Tom Cruise. If he said, Megan, I love you, marry me, be a Scientologist, would she consider it? Would she consider it? Would she Would she run to him? Or would she say no? Let's have a little look. What would you do, Megan? Tom Cruise. Ooh, eight of words, not a no. It's not a no, eight of wands. She, she'd have it all over the tig. She'd have it all over the media how this certain person, whether it's Tom Cruise or not, had wooed her, had wooed her, had wanted her. So it would definitely all be out there. It would all be all over the internet. So, yes, I mean, it would look very, very good on her profile. It would look very, very good in those puff pieces in Hello. So would she say yes? Would she say yes? Let's see. Would she say yes? Would she be up for that? King of Cups, you know what? I think she would. I think she would. If a billionaire Scientologist said to her, come on, Megan, come and marry me. Let's say Tom Cruise. Come and marry me. She would put it out everywhere. It'd be in Hello magazine. It would be in Harper's Bazaar. It would be in all those glossy things. Um, oh, my God. It, it would be everywhere, first of all. And then after she plastered it everywhere, yes, King of Cups. Yes, she'd have her King of Cups, definitely. Billionaire Scientologist, that's him, that's it. Her boat's come in there. Brilliant. So she's got a Scientologist. So now I want to know, would she actually give them any of her money? Now, would she, would she actually give the Scientology group, cult, whatever they are, well, when they say, oh, yes, Megan, you know, you, you've got your billionaire. Come, we really want you. You've got him, now we need some money from you. What would she do? When Scientology put out their hands and said, yes, but now you've got to give us um, a little bit of cash yourself. What would she do? Would she, would she be up for giving a bit of cash? Let's have a look. Go into the middle here somewhere. Let's have that one. 
would she give her cash? Oh no. <laughs> No, that's um no no that that would be a stab in the back to her. No, of course she wouldn't give her cash. Um, she she'd ask her King of Cups over here to give some cash for her, and she oh I'll pay you back if you do. <laughs> no, Ten of Swords in the back. That would be a fatal wounding for her. You can't ask Megan for cash. No, no, no. She'd happily come in. She'd come in, and um, yes, she'd um, be a billionaire's wife, a Scientology billionaire's wife, but no, 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 she wouldn't give any of her money. So what would happen in those past life regression sessions? Now, I understand, I can't remember what they call it, but um, they assume that any um, things that you've got wrong with your life, and she's got a few, any things that you've got wrong with your life um, can all be traced back to past lives. And they do these past life regressions with their members. And you keep going back in time until you found out, you know, what the nub of your problem is. So I want to know when she's all ensconced in Scientology and she's with Tom Cruise or whoever, and she's got all this money and uh, they say to her, right, now you've got to come and do a past life regression. And we're going to find out why you are the way you are uh, i think it'll be a very long session that one but apparently they don't they don't finish the session until you're done so there really would be a long session so how would she get on regressing to her past life i know that there are those out there who think she's Anne Boleyn. i don't know so much but anyway so let's have a little look what would happen in her past life regression sessions would she would she get any benefit from that would she learn she learn from past life regression sessions no of course she wouldn't of course she wouldn't she's the high priestess in reverse this is our floozy card we always get it don't we no she's a floozy she wouldn't learn wouldn't matter how far back you took her you could take her back 500 years to Anne Boleyn, and she still wouldn't learn this woman goes round and round on her wheel and um high priestess in reverse what a wise woman Yes, if you took her through past life regression, she'd see the error of her way, see where she went wrong in the past, see how she lost her head. But no, not this one, not this one. It wasn't my fault. They were all racist, you know. Did you know that Henry VIII was a racist? Yes, it was all their fault. They all had it in for me from the beginning. She wouldn't learn. So, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens there. We'll have to wait and see if a billionaire Scientologist tries to snap her up. I think we might wait a while, but um, it was a good reading, wasn't it? Anyway, have some fun and I'll see you soon. Bye.